Hello and welcome. Let's talk about orthopedic instruments. So, let's talk about 4 mm sheath and sharp obturator. This is a picture showing 4 mm sheath and a sharp obturator. It is an accessory type of instrument. Now, identifying points. This is a hollow stainless steel sheath with a sharp tipped obturator that fits inside. The tips are available in various size, sizes depending on the size of the joint. Use It creates a port into which the endoscope is introduced and exchanged through the sheather cannula. Let's talk about 4 mm sheath with blunt obturator. Now this is a picture showing 4 mm sheath with a blunt obturator. It is an accessory type of instrument and identifying point is that a hollow stainless steel sheath with a blunt tipped obturator that fits inside. Uses It creates a port into which the endoscope is introduced and extends through the sheather cannula. Let's talk about ablation wand. This is a picture showing a modern type of ablation wand. Now other names cool cut wand and this is an accessory type of instrument. Now identifying points. The radio frequency ablation device with a white and blue plastic handle with buttons for cut and coagulation. A long insulated shaft advances from the handle which leads to a 90, 50 or 30 degree tip. The working tip has two metal scalloped rings on it that facilitate the ablation. Use to clean up and smooth out meniscus and articular surfaces during an arthroscopy. Important point to remember this is a single patient use item and is thrown away at the end of the procedure. Let's talk about ALM retractor. This is a picture showing ALM retractor. It is a retracting and exposing type of instrument. Identifying points a self retaining retractor. The thumb is screw with flaring wings to open the arms of the retractor and pour sharp prongs on each side. Use. It is used for retracting in small areas. Let's talk about arthroscope. This is a picture showing arthroscope. It is also known as 25 degree foam mm lens. It is a viewing type of instrument. Identifying points. A rigid stainless steel tube containing an optical chain of precisely aligned glass lenses and spacers. The objective lens is located at the distal tip of the scope. This determines the viewing angle and the stainless steel cylinder is called the optical element or the telescope providing both images and light. The light connector allows attachment of the light cord to the telescope. At the proximal end is the eyepiece or ocular lens and this attaches to the camera coupler or the surgeon may view the surgical field directly. Uses It is used for viewing the inside of a joint. Important point to remember. The 25 degrees is the angle at which the objective lens views and 25 degree endoscopes are very expensive and fragile. Care should be exercised when handling an endoscope and it should never be picked up by the digital telescope and placed under heavy objects or dropped. Let's talk about arthroscopy probe. This is a picture showing arthroscopy probe. The other name of this instrument is blunt probe, blunt hook or knee scope probe. It is a probing and dilating type of instrument. Now identifying points of this instrument. It is a right angled blunt hook with a flattened handle. Use It is used to examine and move tissues around the and inside the knee joint. Important point to remember while using this instrument. It should be placed on the Mayo stand for every arthroscopy. Let's talk about Beckman retractor. This is a picture showing Beckman retractor. It is a retracting and exposing type of instrument. Now identifying points. It is a self-retaining finger ringed instrument with a ratcheted release device on the shanks. The two hinged arms extend from the shank to three outward curved prongs on one side and four on the other. These prongs can be sharp or dull. Uses. It is used for the retraction in procedures involving deep tissue such as the spine and in proximal femur fractures. 
important point to remember while using this instrument. Always hand this retractor to the surgeon with the prongs pointing downwards. Let's talk about Bennett retractor. This is a picture showing Bennett retractor. It is a retracting and exposing type of instrument, identifying points. A smooth solid grip type handle with a downward curved rounded flared blade and a smaller upward curved round lip. Use It is used for retracting tissues during procedures involving large bones like the proximal or the mid shaft of the femur. Important point to remember The lip of the burnet is slid between, behind and around the bone shaft for leverage when retracting the tissues. There is no pulling needed when holding this retractor and once it is placed, simply hold the handle down or back. Let's talk about blunt knee retractor. This is a picture showing blunt knee retractor. It is a retracting and exposing type of instrument. Identifying points. The thin flat handle with a blunt blade at right angle and slightly curved. Use. It is used for retracting tissue at a right angle. Now, important point to remember. It is often used as a lever to retract. There is no pulling needed when holding this retractor and after it is placed, simply hold the handle down or back. Let's talk about blunt Hohmann retractor. This is a picture showing blunt Hohmann retractor. It is a retracting and exposing type of instrument. Identifying points. The flat handle with two holes placed distally. The blade is blunt, very thin and slightly curved. There is no pulling needed when holding this retractor. After it is placed, simply hold the handle down or back. Use. It is used for retracting a small amount of the tissue in a very tight area. Let's talk about bone cement injector. This is a picture showing a modern type of bone cement injector. The other name of this instrument is cement gun and it is an accessory type of instrument. Now identifying points. The proximal end has a plunger type disc that moves forward when the handles are compressed. This forces the glue through the chamber and out the tip similar to a cock gun. Now use. It is used for injecting polymethyl methacrylate or PMMA bone cement during total joint procedures. Now important point to remember. The setting time of for PMMA is approximately 8 to 60 minutes after the prosthesis is pos positioned. The surgeon will need to know how the glue is sitting and be sure to obtain a small amount of glue to test for the heat and hardening and record the time when the glue was placed in the gun. Let's talk about bone cement system. This is a picture showing a bone cement system. It is an accessory type of instrument. Now identifying points. A funnel shaped mixing bowl that has a lockdown lead with attached steering paddles on the underside and a crank handle on top. Screwed to the bowl is the injection cartridge with a removable supporting base and attached to the base is the vacuum tubing. This system is a disposable closed vacuum system. Now use. It is used for mixing the liquid and powder to produce bone cement also known as polymethyl metacrylate PMMA. Let's talk about bone file. This is a picture showing bone file. The other name of this instrument is RASP. It is a cutting and dissecting type of instrument. Identifying points. A single handle instrument with a flat end with serrations in a crisscross pattern. Use. It is used for smoothing the rough edges or surfaces of large bones. Important point to remember. This should always be available during the total joint procedures to smooth bone surfaces. Let's talk about bone hook. This is a picture showing bone hook. It is a retracting and exposing type of instrument. Identifying points. The thick handle with an extremely sharp curved hook at the working end. Use. It is used for retracting bone or heavy tissue. Important point to remember. Always hand the bone hook to the surgeon with the prongs pointing downward. Let's talk about Brownie Deltoid Retractor. This is a picture showing Brownie Deltoid Retractor. 
it is a detracting and exposing type of instrument identifying points the blade is concave and angled with a cup like indentation at the working end the handle is flat with a round opening and the two cup prongs at each side of the distal end use it is placed to contour the humeral head for delta retraction to all of our exposure let's talk about brunes oval bone curettes this is a picture showing brunes oval bone curettes the other name of this instrument is curettes it is a cutting and dissecting type of instrument identifying points the thick handles with a small scoop at one end and the scoops have a variety of shapes and angles use it is used for scooping out tissue or material from small tight areas let's talk about cannulated pin cutter this is a picture showing cannulated pin cutter it is a cutting and dissecting type of instrument now identifying points it is a heavy curved handles with extremely curved jaws that meet flush against one another and have extremely sharp edges there is a circular pin channel between the jaws that runs through the lock box and between the handles the channel allows the pin to slide through the jaws so the proper length can be cut use it is used for cutting wire or small pins such as corsner's wire or k wires or steenman pins now important point to remember while using this instrument inspect the jaw edges for breaks or nicks to ensure precision and sharpness of this instrument let's talk about capsule retractor this is a picture showing capsule retractor it is also known as fork retractor it is a retracting and exposing type of instrument identifying points a curved ribbon of the steel with three angled sharp prongs at the working end this come with one two or three prongs which are designed to retract in different areas use the two and three prong retractors are designed to be placed medially along the scapular neck to retract the entire capsule and labrum the single prong retractor is commonly used when retracting on the inferior rim of the glenoid let's talk about chandler retractor this is a picture showing chandler retractor it is also known as chandler elevator and it is a retracting and exposing type of instrument the identifying points of this instrument is that it has a thick handle with a medium curved and blunt blade use it is used for retracting bone and tissue important point to remember this instrument is used to hold soft tissue away from the bone like a lever when the surgeon is performing fixation let's talk about charlie retractor this is a picture showing this type of retractor the other name of this instrument is ortho balfour retractor it is a retracting and exposing type of instrument identifying points a square shaped frame with attachable blades use the self retaining retractor is often used during hip surgery to hold the wound open important point to remember it comes with a cylinder weight with a chain that can be hooked to the frame to pull the retractor downward and out of the way let's talk about chalk and key this is a picture showing chalk and key the other name is drill chalk and it is an accessory type of instrument now are you finding points a chalk is a specialized type of clamp in which the jaws which are arranged in a radially symmetric pattern like the points of a star are used to hold a cylindric object use it is most commonly used to hold the rotating devices such as the drill bit or a pin in a power tool and some chocks can also hold irregularly shaped objects and those that lack radial symmetry often the jaws will be tightened or loosened with the help of a chock key which is a wrench like device made to tighten or loosen the jaws let's talk about cobra retractor this is a picture showing cobra retractor it is a retracting and exposing type of instrument now identifying points this is a smooth solid grip type handle with a downward curved flare blade and with a smaller upper curved round tip use it is used for the retraction of the large areas of the tissue the large bend in the blade allows tissue to be retracted far away from the field allowing for better visualization important point to remember there is no pulling needed when 
holding this retractor after it is placed simply hold the handle down or back let's talk about cordless driver 4 this is a picture showing cordless driver 4 the other name is cd4 power system it is a cutting and dissecting type of instrument now identifying points all in one battery power system that consists of the sagittal oscillating and reciprocating surge micro drill and universal hand driver handpiece the universal drivers are capable of pin and wire driving sewing drilling tunneling or reaming and have a variety of the attachments collars and chocks that are used for a specific purpose use it is used for cutting drilling or boring bones let's talk about krigo elevator this is a picture showing krigo elevator it is a cutting and dissecting type of instrument identifying points the thick handle with long thin curved and flat edge is the identifying point use it dissects or separates tissue and retracts tissue inspect the edge for nicks to ensure sharpness let's talk about cushing ranger this is a picture showing cushing ranger it is a cutting and dissecting type of instrument now identifying points the medium sized handle with a single hinge and short oval cup shaped jaws use it is used for removing pieces of the bone and the soft tissue surrounding the bone important point to remember while using this instrument always have a moistened sponge ready when handling the surgeon or ranger as the surgeon works to remove tissue and or bone the ranger has to be clean between the uses while focusing on the wound the surgeon will point the tip of the ranger toward the surgical technologist using a moistened sponge the surgical technologist will clean the tissue from the jaws let's talk about depth guts this is a picture showing depth guts now the other name of this instrument is screw depth guts and it is an accessory type of instrument now identifying points a thin stainless steel probe with a right angle hook on the distal end and with a solid flattened measuring device that is calibrated in millimeters on the proximal end a sliding metal slip encircles the probe and measuring device now use it is used for the confirmation of the depth of the drill hole in bone to determine the length of the screw now important point to remember always have the depth guards available when placing bone screws and to measure the depth of the hole the surgeon pushes the slip against the proximal side of the hole and extends the probe into and beyond the distal side of the hole the surgeon then retracts the probe finding the distal side of the hole with the hook the surgeon reads the measurement of depth by examining the position of the proximal slip along the graduated scale let's talk about diamond pin cutter this is a picture showing diamond pin cutter now the other name of this instrument is pin cutter it is a cutting and dissecting type of instrument now identifying points it is a heavy curved handled instrument with a guillotine action tip the working end has a and has an angled channel that allows the pin to be placed into the jaw so the proper length can be cut use it is used for cutting wire or small pins such as cursor's wire or steel main pins important point to remember the double action jaws allow for more power when cutting inspect for the sharpness and smooth action of the jaw and cutting surfaces talk about drill bit set this is a picture showing drill bit set the other name is drill box it is a cutting and dissecting type of instrument now identifying points the drill bits in this case range from 1.6 to 4.7 mm use the drill bits are used to drill holes in the bone usually before the placement of the screw let's talk about drill guide now this is a picture showing a drill guide the other name of this instrument is drill slip or drill bit guide it is an accessory type of instrument now identifying points the working end is a hollow tube called a sheath or cannula into which the drill bit slides this can be single or double ended and may be straight or have angles of varying degrees 
the rim of the seat has a V-shaped edges that seat the guide into the bone to prevent slipping. Use It provides a more precise drill hole and it is used to align the drill bit in the center of the hole in the plate and it protects the soft tissue from damage and prevents the drill from slipping and making a larger hole. Let's talk about duckbill right and left biter. This is a picture showing duckbill right and left biter. It is a cutting and dissecting type of instrument. Now identifying points. A thick handle with thumb lever that opens and closes the jaws. It has a square shaped cutting tool on the right or left side of the instrument. Use It cuts and dissects tissue during arthroscopy procedures. Important point to remember. Before handling to the surgeon, hold this instrument by the handle with the cutting end away from you so that the uh, visualization can be done about the side cutter is facing. Let's talk about dog bill straight biter. This is a picture showing a dog bill straight biter. It is a cutting and dissecting type of instrument. Now, identifying points of this instrument. The ringed handles with a thin rod that has a rectangular shaped cutter attached distally. Use It cuts and dissects tissue facing the surgeon. Let's talk about endoscopic camera. This is a picture showing an endoscopic camera. It is also known as a uh, viewing instrument. And identifying points include at the distal end of the camera is the coupler which attaches the camera to the eyepiece of the rigid scope. The coupler is attached to the camera head which provides the image quality and attached to the camera head is the cord which releases the images back to the video system. Use It is used for the transmission of the images from the rigid or flexible endoscope to the video monitor. Important point to remember. Most camera failures are related to a damaged cord and care should be exercised when handling the camera and cord. This will never be placed under a heavy object, dropped, twisted or kinked. And also keep the distal end covered until it is ready to be plugged into the unit. Let's talk about freer elevator. This is a picture showing freer elevator. It is a cutting and dissecting type of instrument. Now identifying points. A round handle with flattened tear shaped tips at the both ends and one end is sharper than the other. Use It lifts the periosteum from bone or retracts in confined space. The small balls of the bone wax are pressed onto the tip and then are smeared in bone edges for hemostasis. Let's talk about Fukuda Humeral Head Retractor. This is a picture showing Fukuda Humeral Head Retractor. The another name is Humeral Head Retractor or Fukuda Retractor only. It is a retracting and exposing type of instrument. Identifying points. The Fukuda Retractor is available in small and large size and it has a T-bar style handle with an angled blade and oval fenestration at the working end. Use It is used to retract the humeral shaft posteriorly and helping to expose the intergranate surface. Let's talk about Giggly Saw. This is a picture showing Giggly Saw. It is a cutting and dissecting type of, type of instrument. Now identifying points. A flexible twisted wire cable with looped ends that affix to the hooks on the two T handles. The handles may also be oval or box shaped. The wire cable may be replaced after each use or when it becomes dull. Use A type of the handsaw used for cutting bone and a back and a foot movement of the T handle slides the cable over the bone creating a notch that continues through the bone. It is often used for amputations and can be used to open the skull for craniotomies. Let's talk about hips retractor. This is a picture showing hips retractor. It is a retracting and exposing type of instrument. Identifying points. This is a flattened double-ended retractor that has a laterally bent blade and slightly bent lip with a V-shaped teeth on one end and a small crescent-shaped blade on the other. Use. This is a tissue retractor for either deep or superficial areas. The hips retractor is often used in large bone cases. Let's talk about humeral head retractor. This is a picture showing humeral head retractor. 
it is a retracting and exposing type of instrument identifying points an angle to prune blade with a straight flat handle use it is placed between the glenoid and the humeral head to obtain exposure let's talk about israel rack retractor this is a picture showing israel rack retractor it is a retracting and exposing type of instrument identifying points the handle has a teardrop opening with two prongs on each side it has four large claws that may be blunt or sharp use it is used for retracting large amounts of the tissue that usually does not involve bone important point to remember this instrument is also available with sharp prongs Let's talk about corn bone holding forceps this is a picture showing corn bone holding forceps it is a grasping and holding type of instrument now identifying points the long thin handles with a bar ratchet device between them to lock jaws in place the inner jaws have four heavy teeth and the heavy serrations that allow for secure grasping of the bone use it is used for manipulating bone fractures into the place and for holding the fracture in alignment while plates and screws are placed it is also used during total joint hip procedures to grasp bone segments important point to remember while using this instrument the hands and instruments should be kept away from the ratchet bar during the procedure to prevent inadvertently releasing it let's talk about key elevator this is a picture showing key elevator now it is a cutting and dissecting type of instrument now identifying points a solid smooth octagonal handle with a square flat and sharp working end that comes in a variety of sizes use it dissects or separates hard tissue like peristem from the bone now important point to remember inspect edge before and after each use for nicks to ensure sharpness let's talk about corsner wires this is a picture showing corsner wires the other name of this instrument is k wires or metacarpal pins it is an accessory type of instrument now identifying points the stainless steel wires are smooth or threaded with choker and diamond points on one end or on both ends k wires are available in sizes from 0.7 through 1.6 mm use a steel wire used for fixation of further bone fractures these are often used on the small bones such as phalanges wrist and ankle and are often placed percutaneously now important point to remember the care should be taken when handling because these are very sharp points that can easily puncture the skin let's talk about colbell self retraining glenoid retractor this is a picture swing colbell self retraining glenoid retractor it is a retracting and exposing type of instrument identifying points a finger ring ratcheted self retaining retractor that has exchangeable shallow to deep blades it is used for retracting the capsule open during soldier procedures let's talk about lambert osteotome this is a picture showing lambert osteotome it is a cutting and dissecting type of instrument identifying points a flattened stainless steel ribbon that tapers to a sharp cutting edge and the osteotomes are available in wide of various sizes use it is used to cut or shape a bone and osteotome is often used when harvesting a bone graft the osteotomes may come in cases or shapes with a variety of sizes and may be straight or curved and inspect the edges for breaks or nicks to ensure precision sharpness and patient safety Let's talk about large pin cutter. This is a picture showing large pin cutter. The other name of this instrument is bolt cutter or rod cutter. It is a cutting and dissecting type of instrument. Now identifying points. It has very long handles with double action hinges and a sharp small cutting surface. Use. It is used for cutting heavy pins and rods. Important point to remember while using this instrument. a long handle with double action allows a greater amount of the force to be applied to the jaws let's talk about lead hand this is a picture showing a lead hand it is an accessory type of instrument a hand shaped malleable metal device with taps 
it is often used during the hand procedures to position the hand open for exposure the patient's hand is generally laid onto the laid hand palm up the middle fingers are bent up over the top of the patient's finger to hold them down then the taps are molded around the wrist index finger and the little finger to secure the hand open let's talk about liver skid humeral head retractor this is a picture showing liver skid humeral head retractor the other name is the bone skid or shoulder skid it is a retracting and exposing type of instrument identifying points it is double ended with large and small cobbly spoons at its end use it is used for the removal of the humeral head from the joint during the total shoulder arthroplasty let's talk about levin bone holding forceps this is a picture showing levin bone holding forceps the other name of this instrument is joplin forceps it is a grasping and holding type of instrument now identifying points it is a ringed handle with very sharp double curved graspers use it is used for manipulating bone fractures into place and for holding the fracture in alignment while plates and screws are placed the levin forceps can also be used during a hip arthroplasty to punch holes in bone for passage of the sutures when closing the joint important point to remember while using this instrument because of the sharp ends use extreme caution when handling let's talk about liston bone cutting forceps this is a picture showing liston bone cutting forceps now the other name of this instrument is large bone cutters it is a cutting and dissecting type of instrument now identifying points it has a large double action forceps with curved or straight blades that are rounded to the tip with sharp inner jaw edges use it is used for cutting large bones now important point to remember the double action gives the forceps more torque at the tip for better cutting action let's talk about little scissors this is a picture showing little scissors it is a cutting and dissecting type of instrument now identifying points slightly curved blunt tipped and sharp blades the holes on the blade serve to draw a suture or muscle through a tunnel dissection use it is used for fine tissue dissection important point to remember use caution when passing because of the sharp edges and only use on tissue and never used to cut drapes or sutures let's talk about lomen bone clamp this is a picture showing lomen bone clamp it is a grasping and holding type of instrument now identifying points the three curved grasping blunt claws at the working end that are tightened into position by turning the screw mechanism at the proximal end use it is used for holding the fractured bone in alignment while plates and screws are placed important point to remember inspect the screw mechanism before surgery to ensure that it is working properly let's talk about mallet this is a picture showing a mallet now the other name of this instrument is hammer it is an accessory type of instrument now identifying points a solid stainless steel hammer like instrument or may also be brass filled stainless steel the weight is usually 1 to 3 pounds and mallets are used in other specialties that involve bone work now use it is used to impact and extract implants or exert force on osteotomes chisels gauges tamps and other specially designed instruments now important point to remember make available after passing any osteotomes chisels and tamps let's talk about martin cartilage clamp this is a picture showing martin cartilage clamp the other name of this instrument is meniscus clamp it is a grasping and holding type of instrument now identifying points ringed handles with a large serrations placed in opposition use it is used for grasping heavy tissues and cartilage the martin clamp is often used to grasp the meniscus for dissection during total knee arthroplasty let's talk about miller rasp this is a picture showing miller rasp 
the other name of this instrument is smaller rasp and it is a cutting and dissecting type of instrument now identifying points a double ended instrument with tear shaped ends and one end has fairly thick ridges in the parallel lines and the ridges on the other end are closer together use it is used for smoothening the rough edges or surfaces of small bones let's talk about mini homan retractor this is a picture showing mini homan retractor it is a retracting and exposing type of instrument identifying points a flattened smooth handle with a thin slightly curved blades and with a small upper curved pointed tip use it is used for retracting tissue or bone in the tight small areas the mini homan retractor is often used during the open reduction internal fixation of the ankle important point to remember the tip of the homan reactor retractor is slid behind and around the bone for regular edge when retracting the tissues there is no pulling needed when holding this retractor after it is placed simply hold the handle down or back let's talk about morphilene bone skid this is a picture showing morphilene bone skid it is a retracting and exposing type of instrument identifying points the double ended instrument with large or small curved spoons at the each end use it is used for removing the femoral hair from the joint during total hip arthroplasty important point to remember the size of the femoral head and the acetabulum will determine which end of the bone skid to be used let's talk about needle nose pliers this is a picture showing needle nose pliers it is a grasping and holding type of instrument identifying points the thin single action handles with serrated jaws that narrow to a point use remove pins and hardware and twist tire twist wires let's talk about plate bending pliers this is a picture showing a plate bending pliers now other name is plate bender it is an accessory type of instrument now identifying points the pictured are large forceps and the plate is slid into the jaws and compressed to bend the plate these come in various sizes and designs depending on the type of the plating system that is being used and the size and the type of the bone that is being fixated use it is used during open reduction internal fixation to bend the plate to conform to the contour of the bone in which it is being implanted let's talk about plate forceps this is a picture showing plate forceps the other name of this instrument is plate holding forceps or plate holders or plate clamp it is a grasping and holding type of instrument now identifying points these come in various sizes and designs depending on the type of the plating system that is being used and the size and type of the bone that is being fixated the foot of the forceps fits into the counter of the plate ensuring a firm grip of the plate and the back side of the bone the foot often has the ability to swivel for precise positioning of the forceps into onto the plate uses during an open reduction internal fixation these are used to hold the plate in alignment while drilling and screw placement take place let's talk about pliers this is a picture showing pliers the other name of this instrument is channel locks it is a grasping and holding type of instrument identifying points the thin single action handles with thin and thick serrations and rounded end jaws the hinge provides two opening sizes of the jaws use it is used to place or remove hardware and to grasp pointed trocar during the drain insertion of the deep wounds let's talk about pulsa back this is a picture showing a pulsa back it is also known as pulse lavage it is a suctioning and aspirating type of instrument now identifying points a battery pack provides the power the irrigation spike and the suction connection are handed off the sterile field the pulsa back gun has two speeds with controls on the handle a barrel is attached to the gun with a funnel at the distal end of the gun use it is used for the irrigation and debridement of the tissues the pulsa back is commonly used for high pressure irrigation during total joint arthroplasty let's talk about pump tubing this is a picture showing pump tubing 
it is an accessory type of instrument. Now, identifying points. The hollow tubing with bifurcated spike sports and tubing clamps on one end and the pump attachment mechanism and a lever lock attachment at the other end. Uses with HHS irrigation fluid bags to pump at one end with the other end attached to the arthroscopic irrigation cannula. Let's talk about putty bone rasp. This is a picture showing putty bone rasps. It is also called as putty plate rasp and rat tail. It is a cutting and dissecting type of instrument. Now, identifying points. A flattened double-ended rasp with a rounded blade on one end and a half-rounded blade on the other hand. And the blade surfaces are covered with tiny spikes. Use. It is used for smoothening the rough edges or surfaces of large bones. Now, important point to remember. Immerse and gently stir the rasp in water to keep instrument surface clean between the edges. Let's talk about Ragnell Retractor. This is a picture swing Ragnell Retractor. It is a retracting and exposing type of instrument. Identifying points. The double ended with right angle blonde blades that are available in different sizes. It is used for retracting varying amounts of the tissue at different depths. Let's talk about ruler. This is a picture showing ruler. Now, the other name of this instrument is measuring stick. It is an accessory type of instrument. Now, identifying points. A stainless steel ruler that is calibrated in millimeters and inches. Use. It is used for measuring structure and distances. Now, important point to remember. The rulers may also be made of plastic. Let's talk about sharp human retractor. This is a picture showing sharp human retractor. The other name is human retractor. It is a retracting and exposing type of instrument. Now, identifying points. The flat handle with two holes placed distally to aid in the grasping the handle. The blade is sharp shaped in a square with an upward slightly curved prong at the end. Use. It is used for retracting a large area of the tissue usually close to bone. Important point to remember, the prong of the home end retractor is slid behind and around the bone for leverage when retracting the tissues. There is no pulling needed when holding the retractor and after it is placed, simply hold the handle down or back. Let's talk about saver. This is a picture showing a saver. It is a cutting and dissecting type of instrument. Identifying points, the motorized handpiece is an attachment for various bores and blades that move at various speeds and directions. Suction tubing is connected to the adapter next to the cord attachment and the black cord end is handled, handed off the field and connected to the control panel. The saver is activated by stepping on the foot, ped foot pedal or with buttons on the handpiece. Use Houses various saver attachments to remove trim or bore tissue and bone. Important point to remember. Saver often gets clogged with debris, so remove the saver attachment, separate it into its two parts and then remove the tissue. Hint, strike the two parts together to remove the tissue. Let's talk about smooth Stenman pins. This is a picture showing smooth Stenman pins. Then the name is smooth pins. It is an accessory type of instrument. Now, identifying points. A smooth stainless steel pin with a trocar or diamond point and the instrument pins are available in sizes from 2.02 through 4.8 mm use these pins can be used for fixation of the bone fractures bone reconstruction and as a guide pin when placing implants and placing skeletal traction and these are often used on larger bones now important point to remember the care should be taken when handling and these have a very sharp points that can easily puncture the skin. Let's talk about steely bone chisel. This is a picture showing steely bone chisel. Now, it is a cutting and dissecting type of instrument. Identifying points. A flat round impaction platform with a solid octagonal handle that extends to a flattened flared blade with a beveled edge. The chisels are available in cases or in sets with a variety of sizes. Use. It is used to cut or shape the bone. 
the chisel is often used when harvesting a bone graft. Always hand the chisel to the surgeon with the mallet and inspect the edges for breaks or nicks to ensure precision, sharpness and patient safety. Let's talk about steely bone guts. This is a picture showing steely bone guts. It is a cutting and dissecting type of instrument. Now identifying points. A flat round impaction platform with a solid octagonal handle that extends to a trough like blade that has a sharp cutting edge. The gauges are available in cases or in sets with a variety of sizes. Use. It is used to cut or scoop out a channel of bone. Let's talk about steel bone osteotome. This is a picture showing steely bone osteotome. Now, it is a cutting and dissecting type of instrument. Identifying points. A flat round impaction platform with a solid octagonal handle that extends to a flattened flared blade. The osteotomes are available in cases or in sets with a variety of sizes. Use. It is used to cut or shape bone and the osteotome is often used when harvesting a bone graft. Always hand the osteotome to the surgeon with a mallet. Inspect edges for breaks and nicks to ensure precision, sharpness and patient safety. Let's talk about steel lure rongeur. This is a picture showing steel lure rongeur. It is also known as straight rongeur or large mouthed rongeur. It is a cutting and dissecting type of instrument. Now, identifying points. It is a large handled double action mechanism with large oval cup shaped jaws. Use. It is used to grasp, bite and detach large amounts of tissue. Now, important point to remember while using this instrument. The frequently used instrument for large cases that require significant dissection or cleaning of the area is this instrument. Let's talk about striker core system. This is a picture showing striker core system. The other name is TPS system. It is a cutting and dissecting type of instrument. Now identifying points. An all-in-one electrical power system that consists of a sagittal, oscillating and reciprocating saws, micro drill and a universal driver handpiece. The universal drivers are capable of pin and wire driving sawing, drilling, tunneling or reaming and have a variety of the attachments, collets and chocks that are used for specific purposes. Use It is used for cutting, drilling or burning small bones of or its polyps and other interior and tissues. Let's talk about Striker System 6 power. This is a picture showing Striker System 6 power. It is a cutting and dissecting type of instrument. Identifying points. All-in-one battery power system that consists of an oscillating saw, reciprocating saw, external saw and a rotatory handpiece. The rotary handpiece is used for reaming or drilling and has a variety of attachments and chocks that are used for a specific purpose. Use. It is used for cutting, reaming or drilling large bones. Let's talk about Taylor hip retractor. This is a picture showing Taylor hip retractor. It is a retracting and exposing type of instrument. Now identifying points. The thin handle with a curved rounded end and a blade at a right angle with a sharp tip. Use. It is used for retracting tissue for exposure in total hip arthroplasties. Important point to remember. The sharp tip is placed next to or on the bone for leverage. There is no pulling needed when holding this retractor after it is placed. Simply hold the handle down or back. Let's talk about threaded stainman pins. This is a picture showing threaded stainman pins. The other name is simple threaded pins and it is an accessory type of instrument. Now identifying points. The threaded stainless steel pins with a trocar or diamond point. And the instrument pins are available in sizes from 2.0 through 4.8 mm. Use. These pins can be used for the fixation of the bone fractures, bone reconstruction, and as a guide pin when placing implants and placing skeletal traction, and often used on larger bones. Important point to remember. The care should be taken when handling, and these have a very sharp points that can easily puncture the skin. Let's talk about Townley caliper. 
this is a picture showing townly caliper now the other name of this instrument is caliper and it is an accessory type of instrument now identifying points a slight ruler that measures in millimeters and inches between the tips use it is used for measuring structures and distances and it is commonly used for measuring the thickness of the patella before cutting its under surface during a total knee arthroplasty let's talk about universal screwdriver set this is a picture showing a box or seat which is a universal screwdriver the other name is screwdriver kit and it is an accessory type of instrument now identifying points the set consists of a handle that accommodates any of the four double ended screwdriver bits and one each of a small and large single slot crosses and cruciate 3.5 mm and 4.5 mm hex and a small and large phillips head use it is used during revision of the total joint surgery in which screws were used removal of the bone plates fixture fixation screws or bone graft screws important point to remember the set helps eliminate the opening of the multiple sterile packs when a specific size and style of the screwdriver is needed let's talk about utility scissors this is a picture showing utility scissors the other name is bandage scissors it is a cutting and dissecting type of instrument now identifying points serrated edge with a blunt tip on the lower jaw to prevent cutting tissue or skin use to cut bandages casting material clothing and other non sterile items important point to remember it is used to cut dressing drips met cast material etc this scissors should never be used to cut tissues or suture let's talk about jofrel jensen ranger this is a picture showing jofrel jensen ranger it is also known as small mouthed ranger it is a cutting and dissecting type of instrument now identifying points the large handle with a double action mechanism and thin sharp jaws use it is used for removing pieces of the bone and soft tissue surrounding the bone now important point to remember while using this instrument the double action mechanism gives the ranger more torque at the tip for better biting action always have a motion sponge ready when handling the surgeon to a ranger as the surgeon works to remove tissue and or bone the ranger has to be cleaned between the uses while focusing on the wound the surgeon will point the tip of the ranger toward the surgical technologist technologist and using a motion sponge the surgical technologist will clean the tissue from the jaws end of the topic